In this activity, we're going to make a straw rocket. For that, you're going to need some soda tape, scissors, um, two different straws, two plastic straws. Uh, and one straw is going to have to be a little bit uh, wider than the other one because they have to fit into each other. Uh, and then you're going to need a, the rocket design template. Um, to get a printout of this, I've left a link in the description of the video uh, to how you print this out. One thing I might mention in our videos is that we use uh, a lot of plastic straws. Um, now we would use paper straws if that was possible, but in this case you need two different uh, straws of different thicknesses to fit inside each other. Uh, so you can't really get paper straws of different thicknesses that I found. Uh, now the thing about that is, is that you can reuse uh, a lot of these straws. So in this case, if you take this bendy straw, which won't be cut, um, you can use this in another one of our activities called the straw kazoo. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to that uh, video in the description of this video if you want to try that. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to measure up the two straws. So place the smaller straw inside or the thinner straw inside the bigger straw and then as you can see there, there's this extra piece of straw which isn't uh, necessary. Now don't cut it exactly at the point where the smaller straw comes up to. Just go a little bit past that and then cut it. Now the idea here is, is you're going to blow through this straw and as the air comes out, it's going to force this part of the straw to go off. Now to do that, if you, do, if you just do it as is, uh, well this is open and the air will just come out and it won't go anywhere. But if you close this end now, as the air comes out, it'll hit that point and force this straw to go forward. So we're just going to get a little bit of set of tape and put it over the end here. And then you're going to squeeze it down and uh, put it over the back end like that. You might, uh, you could do, you could put a second piece of tape on that as well, just to make sure that it stays down. And you can cut off any excess that's not necessary. So that's the simplest rocket built. Uh, if, you, if you blow that, and we'll test that outside in a short while, if you blow on this, it will now fire. So to make the fins, all I've done is I've taken a little uh, piece of paper off the corner of the rocket uh, template. Uh, and uh, so I've taken a piece and it's in a rectangle and then uh, just like that, a small piece like that. And then I'm going to cut from one diagonal uh, of the rectangle to the other, and that will make two fins for you. So there's the size of fins that I'm going to start off with. You can make any size fin you like. Um, but what we're going to try first is, we're, and I've made two more here. Um, I wouldn't go beyond four fins, really. It's a little bit too much. Um, but I'm going to try two fins uh, to start with and see what distance, how does, um, how does the distance change as you uh, fire it without any fins, and then maybe with two fins, and then with four fins. How does how does uh, adding fins uh, change the, the rocket? To put the fins on, uh, what you do is you take the, um, the rocket, and then put your fin to the side of it, uh, put a little bit of tape on that, and then you go to need another bit of tape on the other side of it. Uh, now, once you get up to four fins, it does get a little bit tricky to put four fins on because you have such a little, not very much space uh, to put them on there. So that's one fin on there. And uh, I usually just leave it at, at uh, two fins, but if you want, you can go for the four. What I found with the straw rockets is that the uh, rockets without any fins at all went about um, 8 to 12 feet. Uh, those with three fins uh, went around 12 foot, but um, the ones with two fins, they went between 13 to about 17 feet. So it looks like the two fins is probably the best. Uh, but you can try this at home and see what results you get. If you want to add um, to the comments uh, section and just tell us uh, this, the results you got. Thank you. To make the rocket from the uh, template design, I uh, take the template and I've colored up one here and then you're just going to uh, simply cut it out. So this is my one that I've uh, colored up and cut out uh, and to attach it to your rocket, all you do is you take the uh, green rocket in this case the, and then you're going to uh, put two pieces of tape on this side of it. This is the final design. 
Uh, and what I've done is I've put at the top bit, I've put on the cell tip a little tight. So what it does is it pulls in the paper and gives the rocket a slight curve to it. Uh, I think that looks nice. 